Throughout the history of Roblox, certain users have achieved significantly controversial reputations. In this video are some of the most notable examples in the history of the website, with the background information on the controversy they made. In other words, here are 5 Roblox YouTubers you do not want to follow anymore. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Now, let's get into it. Number 5. Zonic Zonic is a Mexican Roblox YouTuber with over 1 million subscribers. He was criticized for stealing YouTube thumbnails, stealing content, and witch hunting other YouTubers. He has been banned on Roblox multiple times for exploiting. He has been deleting comments of English viewers that watch his content, and he lies about not speaking English when he actually does. In addition, he also steals other Roblox games. Number 4. Sonic the Hedgehog XX he first became popular through his game, Live in a Five Star Island Resort. His game was highly criticized for its large use of free models and the huge amount of ODers that visited his game. However, the main source of the disagreement surrounding Sonic and the resort was the fact that many people accused Sonic of plagiarism and copying Weirdo King's Island Resort. Weirdo King himself accused Sonic of copying the place and stealing much of his fame, which sparked a large feud between the two. Number 3. Jared Valdez 4 Jared Valdez 4 is perhaps the most infamous user on Roblox, who is notorious for stealing games and hiding them behind false images. Some of the most famous games he has copied include Paintball by Daxter33, The Undead Coming by Stealth Pilot, which Jared called The Infection, and Welcome to the Town of Robloxia by OneDev2. He was also famous for copying YouTube videos, clothing, group names, and logos. These accusations have made Jared arguably one of the most hated players within the history of Roblox. Despite this, Jared Valdez 2 and Jared Valdez 4 were both extremely wealthy and famous accounts. The Jared Valdez 4 account was the first account to achieve over 20 million visits and had over 23 million place visits before being deleted, the most out of any user. Number 2. Christina8787 Christina8787 is the creator of a popular game on Roblox known as Club Christie. The game was despised mainly because of the large use of free models and the advertising campaign about the game. Christina8787 tried to increase the popularity of her game by starting an advertising campaign that criticized game designer Iron Enforcer, as well as his famous game The Iron Cafe. Although Iron Enforcer did not directly respond, many users criticized the ads as flame and thought of Christie as an attention seeker. She was also well known for her involvement in a feud between her and famous video maker Xiao Xiao Man. After he made a YouTube video criticizing her place for his series, Enraging Roblox Reviewer, she made a YouTube video in response criticizing both Xiao Xiao Man and his review. Number 1. Real Matt The YouTuber Real Matt is a Roblox YouTuber with over 190k subs. However, his ways of getting these are unacceptable. He is most well known for being a clickbait king. His content would include things like meeting it's funny in real life or Coral finally apologized, even though that is not the case in the video. He is also someone who makes free Robux videos and also uses something I like to call the LCSW method. He tells his fans to like the video so it looks like a good video, tells them to comment for a Robux giveaway to hide the hate comments, tells them to subscribe so he gets in the algorithm, and tells them to watch the full video for more watch time and revenue. Also, as said above, he hosts Robux giveaways with every video. However, these are obviously fake, and he obviously uses alt accounts for them. Adding on, faking giveaways are not only against YouTube's TOS, terms of service, but is also against the law in most states. However, the worst thing that he does is what his content is about. Not only is it straight up lying, when RealMat was exposed by well-known YouTubers such as Koneko Kitten, he privated all of his videos and for two days made normal Roblox gameplay videos. But when he decided he was off the radar, he put his videos back up and kept clickbaiting. However, the worst thing that he has ever done would be during the Coral situation. At that time, Coral was, for whatever reason, hating on a fan who was about 16 and still a fan of the Pals. During that time, it is said that the teen was actually considering suicide with her being attacked by one of her idols. However, during that time, Real Matt came in and milked the crap out of the situation with videos like why Coral is not coming back to the Pals Coral finally apologized, Coral forgot to stop recording, which was just wrong considering it's clickbait on a topic that put a teen's life at stake. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you next time on Roblox Portal.